Hello, my YouTubers. This is the Almighty Albatraz here with another review. This time, another Marvel Universe. Um, most the next of my reviews are going to be all Marvel Universe. And that's about it for intro. Let's get to the figure already. If you haven't read the title, we're going to be reviewing Hulk, the modern Hulk. Which looks very Frankenstein to me. And I don't really like that. Like, um, I can, you can tell it's Hulk when you look at him, but when you look at his head, it's like Frankenstein over here. Bella, Bella Lugosi. Not Bella Lugosi. That was Dracula. Boris Karloff. I just twisted his head. But so let's get to the box first. Last review, I didn't get to the box first. Box. On the box art, 80s Hulk. Doesn't make sense. So, yeah. And these packages are bigger than the standard. Here's a standard, and then here's the... Here's a standard, and then here's the Hulk's big figure. And there's Nick Fury. And the Ultimate Cap, which I really want to get just for his shield. His shield has straps, and the Captain America I have doesn't have them, so I need that. Ronan, don't care. Green Goblin, got the shiny one. That one's the pale green one. And I like the prototype better than the figure I have with me, because that one has a lot darker green. The one I have, um, we got, is a uh, paler green, and he has like bruises all over him. This one looks like a lot nicer, because he has darker green. And his, uh, his head scope actually looks different. Uh, ah, too big. Doesn't his head scope look different, folks? See, here's his. I can't show him at the same time. He's way too big of a figure. Then here's his. Maybe it's just a darker green color. But that one I really want more than the one we got. But there's the prototype. Here's the regular one we got. I, I like this one a lot. A lot of people who really hate it, and I'll get to it that reason in a second. But here he is. Pinked. Pale green like that green goblin we got. Unless you get the two-pack Target exclusive. That one's really good. I recommend that. Get that. Because you get a... The best Spider-Man we have so far is in that two-pack. And we're getting a lot better Spider-Man later. I think it's the ultimate one. Which, if you like The Amazing Spider-Man more, you're going to dis be disappointed because this one is going to be uh, the ultimate. But, I kind of like Ultimate Spider-Man, but he won't go with my other figures because he's not a... All my other figures are regulars, not the ultimates. Which kind of sucks. But, we're getting an Ultimate Spider-Man, and I don't know of any other Spider-Mans that we're getting that will be of the amazing but the best one we have so far is that two pack so find that online target exclusive was well, not that expensive I reviewed it on YouTube go check it out but here's his pink pink purple pants pale again I wish they were darker it looks darker on here for some reason but it's brighter over here or is it just the way I'm looking at the screen Hmm. And he has darker areas in here. It looks like bruises or something. I don't I don't really like it. I just don't. Hair um paint's nice actually. It is nice, but it's just pale. Look at that mean face. And color of green for the eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that really. It's like a blue-green. Got green stuff in his hair. I don't know if I like that or not. It's just hard to tell. Well, there it is. That's it for pink. Let's get to articulation. Head. He only turns like that. He doesn't turn left or right. He turns like hey? Hmm? Hmm? Who are you? Betty? Like that. And ball hinge shoulders, but they only get it go in that far, which kind of sucks. Yeah, that far. And they go all around, in and out. 
instead of a bicep twist, we get a elbow twist, which I'm all right with because he's a bigger figure. But he goes swivel and up and down, wrist swivel, really big open palm hand. Look at that, it fits over his face. And fist right here, closed fist. Uh, abdomen crunch slash thing to turn. It's a replacement for the swivel in the waist. No waist. And here's where I everyone hates this figure. This, uh, his hip joints. They don't go forward or back at all. Yeah. See? All they do is twist. That's it. Which is useless. With, because you can't make them go up. That's just stupid. Everyone hates this figure because of that. Um, there is another one of the exact same mold except new head. He looks a lot more like the 80s Hulk. It's called Gamma Green Hulk from the Secret Wars packs. I think he came with... Uh, I don't know who he came with, actually. Oh, I think it's Cyclops. I think. It's not the Jim Lee one. Jim Lee one's awesome. Get that one. Do not... Unless you want an 80s Hulk. Well, I'll get to that. Never mind. Just don't think what I said. Just reboot. Boom. Okay. Okay, everyone hates this, right? Okay. Single jointed knee, I can forgive it because it's a bigger figure, but it turns at the knee, which is, makes no sense. It turns right here, which is stupid. And then his feet go up and down, but they look kind of weird because he's such a big figure. They made a, such a big, gigantic peg. It's just weird. That's it for articulation, and that's about it for the figure itself, actually, the review and everything. So, what now? Well, this is the almighty Albatraz signing off.